someday. Right now, I'm just an elf. But but I don't need anybody. I'm I'm independent. Yeah? Me too. I'm whatever you said. Independent. Hey, what do you say we both be independent together, huh? You wouldn't mind my red nose? Not if you don't mind me being a dentist. It's a deal. We're a couple of misfits. What's the matter with misfits? That's where we fit in. We're not daffy and dilly, don't go around willy-nilly. Seems to us kind of silly that we don't fit in. We may be different from the rest. Who decides the test of what is really best? We're a couple of misfits. I'm not just a nitwit. They can't fire me. I quit. Sometimes I don't fit in. We may be different from the rest. Who decides the test of really what is best? We're a couple of misfits. What's the matter with misfits? That's where we fit in. These two had no idea about what they were letting themselves in for. The world looked a lot more complicated and dangerous than it seemed when they were snug and warm at home. Uh, you know, they were unprepared for the reality of what they were about to face. The abominable. He must see your nose. Quick, douse the light. Like I said, the outside world, it's up to its ear in danger. Well, somehow, Rudolph and Hermie managed to get through the first night. Mush! Mush! Don't you understand North Pole talk? What's this? Hey, you'll get frostbit that way. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Name's Yukon Cornelius, greatest prospector in the North. This is my land, and it's rich with gold. Gold and silver. Silver and gold. Woohoo! Silver and gold? What do you think of our friend Cornelius? Seems all he thinks about is silver and gold. E everyone wishes for silver and gold. How do you measure its worth? So on every Christmas, uh, on every Christmas Eve, uh, I find my way out here, uh, not expecting to run into two little runs like yourselves. I'm off to get my supplies, cornmeal, gunpowder, hammocks, and guitar strings. I'll give you a lift. Hop aboard, mateys. Now mush like this. Watch. Gadzooks! The Bumble Snow Monster of the North strikes again! It's my nose. It keeps giving us away. I hate noisy Bumble Snow Monsters. We'll outwit the fiend with our superior intelligence. How? Douse your nose and run like crazy. Come on! Wahoo! We're trapped. There's no way out. It's my nose again. It's ruined us. The Bumble has one weakness, and I know it. Do it yourself, icebergs. Observe. The Bumble's one weakness. The Bumble sinks. Yukon Cornelius scores again. Whoopee! Nothing, mister. Where are we going? You'll stay with me. We'll all be rich with the biggest silver strike this side of the Hudson Bay. I, I thought you wanted gold. Change my mind. <laughs> Our friends were really on their way, but not one of them knew where they were going. You can bet old Donner felt bad about the way he had treated Rudolph. He knew the only thing to do uh, was to go out and look for his little buck. Uh, Mrs. Donner wanted to go along naturally, but Donner said, no, this is a man's work. No sooner did the man of the house leave when Mrs. Donner and Clarice decided to set out on their own. Now, they're really taking their chances because, you see, that little ice boat had run into a pack of mighty wicked fog. Hello? This fog is thick as peanut butter. You mean pea soup. You eat what you like. No kidding. Well, well where are we? Hey, looky up there. Uh, ha, who goes there? Us, of course. Well, then it's okay. May I, may I ask who you are? We're Rudolph. Hermy and Yukon Cornelius. Who are you? I'm the official sentry of the Island of Misfit Toys. 
a jack in the box for a century. Yes. Uh, don't tell me, Jack. No, Charlie. <laughs> That's why I'm a misfit toy. My name is all wrong. Nobody wants to play with a Charlie in the box, so I had to come here. Where's here? We're on the island of misfit toys. Here we don't stay. We want to travel with Santa Claus and his magic sleigh. A pack full of toys means a sack full of joys for millions of girls and millions of boys. When Christmas Day is here, the most wonderful day of the year, Jack in the Box waits for children to shout. Christmas Day is here. It's the most wonderful day of the year. Toys galore scattered on the floor. There's no room for more. And it's all because of Santa Claus. Scooter for Jimmy, a dolly for Sue. The kind that will even say, how do you do? When Christmas Day is here, the most wonderful day of the year. How would you like to be a spotted elephant? Or a choo-choo with square wheels on your caboose? Or a water pistol that shoots jelly? We're all misfits. Would you like to be a, a bird that doesn't fly? I swim. Or a cowboy who rides an ostrich. Or a boat that can't stay afloat. We're all misfits. If we're on the island of unwanted toys, we'll miss all the fun with the girls and the boys. Uh, this island is uh, for toys alone. How do you like that? Even among misfits, your misfits. Unlike playthings, a living creature cannot hide himself on an island. But perhaps misfits, like yourselves, might be able to help the toys here. Help them? Yes. When someday you return to Christmas Town, would you tell Santa about our homeless toys? I'm sure he could find children that, who would be happy with them. The toy is never truly happy until it's loved by a child. Well, if we ever get back, we'll tell Santa, sir. Good. You're free to spend the night. Show our friends to their chambers. No, oh, it's all settled. We'll leave tomorrow together. But the abominable will see my nose and get us all. I've got to go alone. Nonsense. It's for all. I mean, one. Uh, let's get some shut-eye. It's all settled. Well, Poor Rudolph realizes he can't endanger his friends' lives anymore. And so that night he decides to strike out on his own. <laughs> Real life here. <laughs> Goodbye, Cornelius. Hope you find lots of tinsel. Goodbye, Hermie. Whatever a dentist is, I hope someday that you're the greatest. Well, time passed slowly. Rudolph exited as best he could. The snow monster kept him on the run. Once in a while, he would stop and make a friend or two. He wouldn't last long, and Rudolph would be on his own. But during all that time, a strange and wonderful thing was happening. Rudolph was growing up. Rudolph was growing up, and growing up made Rudolph realize you can't run away from your troubles. Pretty soon he knew where he had to go home you i thought you were gone for good hey look who's back old neon nose ma pa i'm home they're gone rudolph they've been gone for months looking for you clarice she's gone too i'm very worried christmas eve is only two days off and without your father I'll never be able to get my sleigh off the ground. Gone? I'll find him, sir. I'll find them all. Well, he was just about to leave when suddenly it hit. The storm of all storms and only two days before Christmas Eve. Rudolph knew that he had to find his folks right away. And he knew where he had to look. The cave of the abominable snow monster of the north. Put her down. Tell me when it's over. Oh, where was I? Their last chance. Not quite, you see. Ever since Rudolph left them, Hermie and Yukon Cornelius had tried to find their friend. They arrived in Christmas Town just as the storm hit. It was a good thing I sent them uh, right out after Rudolph. Hey, look. What do we do? We can't let that monster get a hold of them. I got an idea. 
Listen. Ma, Pa, Clarice, are you sure we can get him out? Never knew the Bumble Snow Monster yet, who turned down a pork dinner for deer meat. Do your stuff. Oink, oink. Put some heart in it. That Bumble's hungry. Woohoo! Terrible weather we're having. Snow and ice. All right, Dennis, you take it from here. It's Yukon Cornelius, in person. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'll light the way. Blast your hairy bumble hide. Don't let this big blowhard scare you anymore. Just walk right past him, I tell you. You're looking at a mighty humble bumble. He's nothing without his chompers. Let me at him. So, between Rudolph's nose and Hermie the dentist, they were able to trick the bumble or the abominable snow monster of the north and extract his teeth so he was no longer a threat. Gotta love Yukon's motivation at this point. So they make it back to Christmas Town, and when they make it back, everyone hears their story, and they start to realize maybe they were a little hard on the misfits. Maybe misfits have a place too. Even Santa realizes that maybe he was wrong. Rudolph, I promise, as soon as this storm lets up, I'll find homes for all those misfit toys. And, and, and you can open up a dentist office. Next week, after Christmas. Come here. Open your mouth. Oh, dear. I'll set up an appointment. I'm sorry, too, Rudolph, for the way I acted. Open up. It isn't a fit night uh, out for a man or beast. Here's the man, and here's the beast. Now, calm down. I reformed this bumble. He wants a job. Look at what he can do. And he doesn't even need a stepladder. But you went over the side of the cliff. Didn't I ever tell you about Bumbles? Bumbles bounce. <laughs> well, as good as everybody feels, this is no time for celebrating because the next day is Christmas Eve, the biggest day of the year. Eat, Papa. Eat. How can I eat? That silly elf song is driving me crazy. You're going to disappoint the children. Uh... Well, let's be on our way. Okay, Rudolph. Full power. Full stop. First stop, the island of misfit toys. Up, up, and away. He'll be a hero after this. Yes, a hero. That's my buck. Now you see how it's done? Wahoo! Peppermint, what I've always searched for my whole life. I've struck it rich. I've got me a peppermint mine. Well, it's Christmas Eve, but looks like we're forgotten again. But Rudolph promised we'd go this time. Guess the storm was too much for them. Might as well just go to bed and start dreaming about next year. I haven't any dreams left to dream. We'll never get off this island. Wait wait a minute. What's that? Is it... Is it? It sure is. It's Santa Claus. And look, Rudolph is leading the way. You can see his nose from here. Well, let's be on our way. Ready, Rudolph? Ready, Santa. Okay, Rudolph, full power. Up, up, and away. Well, folks, for the rest of our story, he went down in history. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you'd even say it glows. All the other reindeer, uh, they used to laugh and call him names, and they never let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games then one foggy christmas eve santa came to say rudolph with your nose so bright won't you guide my sleigh tonight then how the reindeer loved him as he shouted out with glee rudolph the red-nosed reindeer you'll go down in history merry christmas merry christmas Folks, thank you so much for joining me. It is so fun being able to relive these childhood classics. Uh, I had a little bit of help selecting uh, this week's uh, choice. Thank you so much 
for being a part of this. 